uh, Jeremy Rubago and Ashley Vega. And what creative industry are you guys currently in? Uh, we like to put our hands on a little bit of everything, uh, just really anything creative. We have our own Deaf World account, and that's like our creative outlet. And uh, just it has to do with fashion, photography, film, uh, creative directing. Um, you say it, we try to do it. We just like to keep it as like when it, whoever wants to in the valley, whoever needs that kind of like help, where we bring everyone together and just kind of make it happen for everyone, whether that be fashion or film, like how he's saying and we just like to work upon that. And us ourselves, we're very into like fashion, modeling, photography ourselves. Um, that's kind of like where we're putting our hands on right now. I'm hairstylist Victor Simmons, otherwise known as King of the Crown. Wow, that's a really cool name. And how have you enjoyed the industry thus far? It's been really great, you know, um, over the past 14 years of hairdressing, it's given me a lot. I've been able to see a lot of things, go do a lot of things that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to do, get out of my comfort zone, um, put my artwork out there for everybody to see. And what has been your most favorite part about the industry that you're in? Uh, the most favorite part about the industry that I'm in is the creativity factor. Um, every client that I get in my chair, whether it's a model or somebody that's just coming in for a haircut or a hair color, everybody's an individual. So I really get to play off of what they do for a living and kind of do a little bit of investigative work and see what would be uh, not only feasible for their lifestyle, but also give them a sense of empowerment. So I've been in fashion for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I've been in music and entertainment, uh, and then recently tech. And we lived in New York City, uh, Alexis there for eight years, me there for four years. And uh, we basically quit our corporate jobs and we uh, traveled for a bit and just ended up detoxing because New York City could be very crazy. The lifestyle, you know, it's not just, you know, a nine to five, it's much more than that. Uh, and just kind of that rat race and stuff. So we needed to, you know, just sort of detox and kind of focus on just life and like what we wanted in life and what it takes to be happy. So what is your name? Trim Hef, the Rare Argoon. Some people call me Two Step Shadow when it's party time. And what creative industry are you currently in? I am in the fine arts and fashion merchandising, fashion design, and uh, I guess curating. Yeah, all those. I can definitely tell your fashion sense today is amazing. I appreciate it. Yours is yeah, too. Thank you. And what inspired you to be in this industry? Uh, I feel like originally, like, people always told me that I had swag, like, my whole life, you know. And I always liked fashion. I went to school to Arizona State and majored in fashion merchandising. And then once I realized that, you know, I had enough confidence to, like, do it, then I was full-fledged and I dropped out of school and I just started pursuing it full-fledged. Oh, what I love about modeling is um, I get to meet new people and they're like very creative, like me, and that's like the best part of it because you get to meet all like around the world, like very cool, creative people and they look good and they give you tips on how to like better yourself. So we're all in the same thing and it just feels awesome to meet them. Yeah, other than the fact that meeting new people, I think it's cool traveling and also also connecting with people who have the same interests as you mm -hmm. and they also like build connections build I don't know, it's, it's really cool meeting new people I think that's the big thing right yeah yeah and what has been the most exciting thing about this experience for you most exciting thing is working with different photographers meeting different people um, collaborating with not only photographers makeup artists um, you know uh, hair or hair uh, hair and makeup designers I mean, just being able to meet different people along the way is, is beautiful. So that's what I enjoy the most, is just making uh, new friends, friendships along the way with what I'm trying to create. And what is your name? My name is Johnny. Johnny Galvin. <laughs> and what creative industry are you currently in? So right now I'm sort of floating in between a few different industries. As far as um, photography goes, I'm doing a lot of commercial work. And I'm also doing a lot of fine art work, um, working um, or in the process of working on a few different shows, um, some in the Bay Area, some in uh, Sydney, and some in New York. So and what has been the most exciting part about this industry for you so far? I don't know, I just feel like you can do whatever you want with it. You can take it in different directions, you can sort of play with it, find out what you like and what you don't like. There's enough space and there's enough room to do a little bit of everything. And 
on the one hand, I like making work that people have to think about, and then on the other hand, I like getting paid so I can do commercial work and do the, all the other stuff. So there's a little bit of everything. Um, and I like being able to have my hands in both of those spaces. And I don't know, just do whatever I want. So. What creative industry are you currently in? Uh, digital marketing, copywriting. And how have you enjoyed this experience within the industry you're in? I love it. So this industry is kind of right on par with kind of who I am as a person. I can get up when I want, which is usually early in the morning. I can get on my computer. I can be oh, very creative crazy. whenever I want. I'm not stressed from a nine to five or doing this. And I can really like let my creative side flow. But as far as like my technical professional side as well. And have you seen any like big changes within the industry since you've been working yeah. with it? Huge changes. So. In marketing, everything always changes. When I first got in, it was big on print marketing or, or fly-in mailers, different things like that. Then email marketing was a huge thing. Everybody was on email. But now, honestly, the biggest place is Instagram marketing, but more specifically, Instagram direct messaging. It's kind of a hidden piece in, in marketing that most businesses aren't using because you can actually connect directly to your consumer or whoever's interested in your product. I DJ. I provide sounds. I'm getting into production right now for uh, commercials. Uh, adults swim they do really good so if they do good I do good uh, but nonetheless uh, what I'm here for today is uh, live music and what has been the best part about your job I think the best no 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 I know the best part about my job is uh, longevity with uh, good people that I meet uh, sometimes you, right. you you know it's smoke and mirrors but uh I've, I've withheld a lot of good relationships within uh, good humans uh, that I still get to partake with. So uh, it's the people I meet. It's the people I meet. My name is George Rualcava, and my stage name, I go by Kivero Music. I'm a DJ and producer from here, from Coachella Valley. Wow. And how long have you been a producer for? I've been producing for around one to two years. Um, my first year, I was under an, another name, but you know, for that name, I was just I was just experimenting throughout that year and so this is actually now my second year producing and so now I'm just taking it more serious and you know seeing what I need to do to you know become better than you know my competitors here but um you know now I'm just trying to take it serious I'm just trying to get my name more out there you know I'm trying to bring the next generation of music that's what I'm trying to do hi welcome to the event today and what is your name my name is Big Cali and what creative industry are you currently into? Man, creative industry, well, DJing, I have a podcast, co-host, um, I'm a life coach, soon to be author. <laughs> now, message, I do a lot of things, mostly DJing on my podcast, Argoon Radio, and I do that with Treem and um, Coach Kelly Kill. yeah. And how has this experience been for you? Well, it's been good, actually, man. Um, this is something I've never seen. I'm glad it's in the desert. It was like a whole new oasis walking in here, especially walking through. Because I saw it, I didn't know. And then you walked in, it was like a whole new world in here. It was like a freaking movie studio. So it looked beautiful. I'm, I'm excited, man. And I, I can't wait to see the progression of the spot, too. Definitely. So definitely excited for what's going on in the desert, man.